All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Sut's Weekly Stock Picks. Uh, this week, uh, before we get started, I want to make sure you like and subscribe to my channel so that you can get free weekly updates, as well as some daily updates on on the, on the trading that I do uh, on a daily basis or on a weekly basis. You'll you'll start seeing some videos, some clips. Uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, and if you get a chance, subscribe to my weekly list. Uh, every Sunday night, I provide you a list of stocks that are upcoming in the next few days that are potential buy opportunities that you can get in uh, for a few uh, pro uh, profit for a few uh, ticks up and you lock in that profit for that week uh, just take a look make sure you do do your due diligence don't uh, simply uh, pull the trigger without actually doing your own research for everything that I do and say and provide are for educational purposes only with that said let's get into our first pick of the week uh, let's see this one is gonna be GTY all right so let's take a look at GTY what's going on we see the 50 day is crossed over the 200 day and that's a good indication right there uh, our MACD is pointing upwards uh, there's a there's some room for it to move further up we're all green on the woodies uh, and the RSI is not yet crossed the overbought yet so there's a little bit of room further now but that said I want you to make sure and be aware that there's going to be some pullback when that happens, that's when you get in, lock in about 20, 30 cents, take your profit, walk away. All right. So that's that's what we're doing. It's on a week to week by basis. This is what we're looking at. All right. So on this chart, we're looking at our RAM indicator. It's well above our RAM indicator. It's also above the mid band right here on the Bollinger Bands. And uh, if you look at the Bollinger Bands, we're doing a band ride up. Okay, and it still continues and it hasn't really fully uh, stopped yet on the Bollinger Band. So there's a little bit of further room upwards. Okay, and so that's that's what we're looking at is to try to capture that momentum right there for, the, for this upcoming week. All right, take a look. Make sure you keep an eye on what's happening. Uh, don't just pull the trigger without doing your research. Let's get to the next one. The next one is going to be S-O-N-O. All right, similar situation. We're upwards, going towards the. There hasn't been a cross above yet. Okay, we're looking. There's a little bit dip below, on the RSI. Uh, we're looking at it uh, for some breathing room right around here, and that's why we're looking for a little bit of downward in the upcoming day uh, or two. And then when that happens, you go for the long and capture uh, 20, 30 cents whatever you want uh, up to you know at least up until over here uh, it's gonna pull back so when that happens unless there's good news with the market and all the whole over and all it might just keep continuing going up uh, but just keep that eye and, and look at this woodies right you, you're gonna have a little bit of pullback and it's gonna stop and then they're gonna pull back up and when that happens that's when you want to go as so as long as the MACD is come continuing to go up and uh, before the cross uh, keep an eye on that and let's look at over here on this chart we have our RAM indicator and it's above the random RAM indicator and if you've been following us and if you've been following our RAM indicator uh, you would have actually gotten in on this for long term if you're doing a swing trade right around this point uh, for this big leg up but if you're a day trader and you want to just capitalize on what's happening in the next few days uh, this is where you're going to look for a pullback when that happens you get in uh, and most likely the mid band is going to come up over here and that's where it's going to hold it in so as long as it holds it in you get in capture that all right that's the the game plan for it okay and again if you've been watching and following my tutorials you would know exactly what you're looking for when it comes to the mid band looking at the crossovers looking at our ram indicator okay so with that said let's move on to the next one fsly all right so fsly what we're seeing is we're seeing a little bit of pullback and that's that's a good sign because that's what we want to capture once once it captures around this area we want to get the next leg up we see the MACD pointing still towards up so we're looking to capture that that next few bars that shows up 
all right so look at it right here crossover happened right here trying to capture that area above our RAM indicator above the mid band we're look, trying to do a band right up all right there's a little bit of pullback we want to wait for another maybe a few ticks right around here and then pull up all right so now keep similar situations is happening you, you could see a pattern of what I'm looking at right you see the crossovers you're looking at the MACD RSI woodies right uh, a lot of pullback and that's when you actually get in when there's a pullback you don't just pull the trigger okay and again this is all purely technical so make sure that if you're gonna hold for a longer longer period you look at the fundamentals and if that meets your uh, criteria but if not and you're just in this for a few days a short maybe even intraday uh, this is what you're gonna this is this is what your plan should be looking like right all right so let's look at the next one all right so look at ak this one is really good okay and the reason why is you see this macd is about to cross over the zero line and what that will just catapult it to another leg up right around to 850 you know a little bit closer to the nine so we're looking for that it may be a little bit of pullback we're seeing this cross we're seeing this up you see the rsi going towards up all right and we got a lot of positive greens it's a good sign right there looking forward to capturing this area okay so keep that in mind look at our ram indicator above our ram indicator above the mid band doing a band ride sort of okay so as long as this continues to touch the upper band you're gonna make bank on this section right here all right but keep an eye on this pullback make sure you just don't pull the trigger wait for it to come back and remember don't chase do not chase if you miss it you miss it that's okay do not chase okay if you chase you're gonna actually uh, end up you know missing out right you don't want to keep chasing because what's gonna happen is if this thing just pops up over here and you go long over here this this area right here could be a, a huge resistance point right so you don't want to get in when there's a resistance it's a pretty heavy resistance right here uh, you what we want to do is we want to capture this section right here you don't want to simply capture it here and then look for a leg up all right because what's eventually going to happen is going to try to go over here and then boom come back down what we want to do is we want to see this go down here go down a little bit here and then boom up here and try to capture that leg so be careful all right so the next one is going to be the last one for t this week is sem all right take a look over here what, what i like about this is we got this long trend going up all right and there's been some pullback we see the crossover and I ideally want this to continue to go see it over in this area and we can see that in this MACD you're looking at this one to go furthermore up I know this is on on, on already really high but the RSI hasn't said that it's been overbought yet all right so we're looking at this leg this capturing this portion right here we got this green bar that just showed up on our woodies we want to make sure that it continues for another few bars and that will capture this section right here and if that does you're looking at a good 50 cents at least easily to pick up uh, again remember you see these three green bars there may be some pullback so you have to be cautious don't just pull the trigger Over here get a little bit closer you got this ram indicator right here it's about to go higher and it's still on this upper band ride okay now what's gonna happen is you'll see a foot little bit of pullback maybe in the 40s uh, and then go up again okay and so we are right here we would say right around here and there's a resistance point over here and then there's the major resistance right here okay 
So you see this right here, this is what we're gonna try to capture. All right, so those are the, our pick for this week, okay? This is my pick for this week. We did some research in addition to what I'm showing you here. What we're gonna be doing in the next week is gonna show you some additional information. Uh, stay tuned, make sure you subscribe. Uh, hit the little ringer so that you get notified when these videos are uploaded, okay? Make sure you like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, reach out to me on Discord or shoot me an email. All right, thank you.